Hello there, people of the internet. I got the air conditioner going because it's literally like 98 degrees outside right now, and I'm not sitting in here without air conditioning. But that being said, this should still be a fun video. You guys are just going to hear the air conditioner in the background. So this right here is a Graw Rifle RTI, and I've shown off a couple of these, but, well, let me show you what I actually have here. The models of Graw that I have, this is one that I actually refurbished, this right here is, I think it's their cavalry model, if memory serves me correctly. But anyway, the main reason why I got these is because they got these gorgeous brass uh, bands on them. And this one right here cleaned up extremely nicely. This particular one does have a rear sight on it, which is not something that you find all that often with these RTI uh, uh, Graw rifles. So I'm quite uh, happy with how this one right here turned out. However, the Graw Rifles that I have, these Cavalry models, that's just one model, and I wanted to go ahead and add a second model to the collection, uh, just for, you know, future video purposes and whatnot. Might come in handy down the road, and I'm always looking to add more to the collection. So this right here should be their long rifle model. Uh, RTI was having a flash sale, I picked this up for like $1.99, so no skin off my bones, no matter what sort of condition it's in, especially since I refurbish uh, my firearms. So I have not seen it, all I did was pull it out of the box and I did that off camera because doing that right here would have been quite the difficult challenge. So now we're just going to kind of pull this thing out of our wrap here, which is also kind of a difficult challenge. This does look like the long rifle variant of Gra, which is good. Means RTI did not mess that up at least. Let me pull this off here. Okay. Alright, so this is what we're looking at. We have ourselves bayonet lug down here. This almost looks like a LaBelle bayonet lug. I'll have to I'll have to look at that, because I have a LaBelle. I'll go ahead and throw them up side by side. No, maybe not. I'll check them out. We actually have ourselves a cleaning rod with this one. Uh, barrel bands have seen better days. There's not much finish left on this thing, at least not out here. Finish down here is pretty good. We actually have some of a rear sight on this thing. Look at that. Now that is awesome. I was not expecting to have a rear sight on this one. I've gotten really lucky with my rear sights. So far, all of my Graw rifles have had rear sights on them. All right, we got markings right here, clearly added by the Ethiopians. I think that says like in service to the emperor or something like that. Not positive about it. I'll have to touch up on that. Let me see if I can find a date of manufacture on this. Da 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 da. 1877. So this right here is quite the old rifle. 1877 that puts it at about 150 years old. Let's look at some of these markings here. Da da. This is, it just says M1874 right there on the receiver, which means that this right here is not a Shospo conversion, which is fine. I've already got a Shospo conversion. This right here does have the M80 update. It looks like it's made by Sonatine, or however that is pronounced. Let's open her up. Nice stiff spring means it'll probably go off if I manage to find ammo for it. We do not have a loaded chamber, which is definitely good. Uh, there have been some instances where RTI has sent out rifles that still had some old ass ammo in them, so... Glad to see that this one is not the case, because getting that old ammo out of these chambers can be quite on the difficult side. What is this? What is this? Okay. Alright, I'm not entirely sure what this right here is. But it's red and stained, and it looks like blood. But I'm going to just tell myself that that is some kind of grease. Oh, I bumped my camera again. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so, I have some of a rear sight. And I can definitely work with that. Lift this up, and I got a little aiming picture right there. Front sight looks pretty gosh darn good as well. Bayonet lugs intact. We got ourselves cleaning rod. <laughs> like, this right here is is just a delightfully intact rifle. Granted, it's disgusting. And uh, really, really definitely needs to be cleaned up. Go ahead and readjust our barrel bands here. At least a little bit. I might need to give that one a gentle tap. Oh, nope. It's already down where it needs to be. Okay, so, first impressions. I am quite pleased with this rifle. Let's close her up. Nice stiff spring on this one. Pull the trigger. Yep, I mean, she functions. Uh, I don't see any destroyed wood. 
But I also don't see any trench art. I was kind of hoping for some trench art. We do have a little bit of wood wear down here. But, I mean, that's not something that I'd be concerned about right there. That's not going to stop me from actually shooting this thing. Assuming that, uh, that I can manage to go shoot it. Alright, so, we are lathered with rust and dirt. But we have bayonet lug, a cleaning rod, and rear sight. Uh, it's a functional rifle, so I'm very happy about that. I'm actually really, really happy with this Graw rifle. Let me pull this screw real quick, and we will have a look down the uh, bore, and we will see how the rifling in this rifle actually looks. Maybe I'll push a ball through it, and we will get the, like, we'll slug the rifle and see what the diameter is. Oh, dude, the rifling in this thing looks strong. Like, strong, strong. Okay, we might we might have ourselves a shooter here. My other Graw rifles are quite, quite worn out. Uh, that refurbished one, that one is salvageable, but still far from what I would actually like to see. But this one is alarmingly good. Okay, cool. I, I might have uh, might have hit the RTI jackpot with this one. This little $199 Graw. This might be one for the history books, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Okay, cool. It's even complete. We got ourselves an, extra an extractor. Uh, the ejector. Da, 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 da. Yep, that right there. We got the ejector. It's just a little screw that's on the bottom of that uh, well that the bolt slides through. Let me grab a round ball. I want to see... Um, what the actual muzzle looks like. So this right here is a 445 round ball. If the bore on this is any good, then this should not go very far in at all. Oh, it just kind of <laughs> it just kind of got swallowed. So I might have to do a counter bore with this thing. But besides that, the uh, the rifling itself inside of this rifle is actually like quite exquisitely good. I am overwhelmingly surprised at how decent the rifling is in this thing. I would try to show you guys, but I don't have a means to show y'all right now. I don't have my little camera with me, but that's okay. Uh, just take my word for it, the rifling in it uh, looks pretty gosh darn good. So that being said, this right here is me showing off my 199 RTI Graw rifle. Now I just have to uh, be able to shoot it. Let me show you guys what I got rigged up over here. <laughs> this right here, is an 11 millimeter Graw 410 shotgun shell adapter. Take your shotgun shell, you shove it in right here, and now you can fire this in your Graw rifle. The company that makes these, they say that they test fired 410 shotgun slugs through it, and there's enough rifling engagement, assuming that your rifle is not shot out. Uh, there's enough rifling engagement to where uh, the slug does not keyhole while going down range. Or of course you could just fire bird shot like what I have right here. Uh, this right here was all I was able to find. 410 is not all that common in my particular area, but this right here is a really good option to be able to fire your Graw rifle without having to spend like $10 a shot on it. Okay, so I am quite pleased with this rifle. Definitely going to clean it up because she is, she, she, she has seen better days, that's for sure. So that's probably what I'm going to be working on after this video. Besides that, thanks for watching. Do appreciate your time. Like, subscribe, share. Description below has a link to all sorts of stuff. Go check it out. You guys go off. Have yourself a fantastic day. I'll see you on the next episode.
since I've done this. Bonnie and Clyde be damned. <laughs> Poor man's Garen. <laughs> it's a shame that bolt-action shotguns aren't uh, more mainstream. 